All right, today's question is find all anagrams in a string. So given a string s and p, we want to find uh, anagrams of p inside s. So here's one, and here's the second one. So to solve this question, first we have to answer the simpler question of how do we tell if two words are an anagram or not? So two words are an anagram if they contain the same number of characters. So what we can do here is we can just get uh, the character count for each for, for, for the first word and the character count of the second word and then compare them against each other. So for example, ABBC here will have a count of uh, 1A, 2Bs, and 1C. And then, you know, for the stuff that I don't mention and, you know, implicitly it means that there's, there's zero of it. Okay, and now we have BABC and likewise there is 1A, 2Bs, and 1C. And then because these two representations of the word are equal, then that means they're anagrams of each other. So our first step will just be simply to get this representation for P. Now what you could use here is you could use a hash map of character and then let it go from character to the count. Or we can actually just use a normal array. So an array like 1, 2, 1, uh, 0, 0, 0. Uh, so this will have a size of 26. And this will just basically tell us the zeroth index, 1, 2, 3, 4. These will map to A, B, C, D, E. So this tells us there is 1A, uh, 2B, and 1C. So that's what we'll do for our P. And we'll just call this, I don't know, P map. 26 letters in the alphabet. And we'll loop over every single character in P. Um, I'm actually going to pull out p length here because we're going to be using it a lot later. Okay, so here we have that. And what we'll do is we'll go p map at p dot chart at this i minus a plus plus. So because you know a b c d they're really they're really just ASCII and you can represent them as integers as well. What this translates to just it just goes like for example let's say our our char is b then that means this just goes from p map uh, at b minus a becomes p map at uh, 98 minus 97, which are their ASCII representations, which becomes just p map at one, which is what we want. So index of one represents b, and we want to increment it by one every time we see it. Okay, so this gives us our p map. Next thing we want to do is we want to be able to uh, uh, compare it against uh, a section of string in S. So for example, let's say S is A, B, B, C, D, e, F, G, something like that, and uh, P is B, A, B, C. We want to first get the frequency or the, the map for S for the first section. Here we'll have int equals zero, I less than. So again, PL, because we want to read just as much characters as we need to form an anagram. Okay, so here we'll have another one, so an S map. And here S map S dot char hat I minus A plus plus. Okay, so now we're making an, an assumption that uh, S is at least as long as P. Right, so now we have to say what what if it's not? What if what if S is just A B, but P is something like uh, A B C D? Well, then there's no way we can find a single anagram in here, so we can actually exit early. So what we'll do is uh, int sl equals s dot length, and then if sl is smaller than pl, we can already return the empty list. Okay, so now that we have that edge case over with, we can call this with no problem. We can go all the way up to pl. Okay, so how do we check to see if two words or two maps are our anagrams. So we'll have is anagram, we'll set it to true in the beginning. And then we'll loop over uh, all the characters in the alphabet. So it'll just be pmap.length, you know, 26. And then what we'll do is if pmap at i does not equal smap at i, then uh, is anagram is equal to false and we can break out from here. So what this tells us is that there is 
there is something in PMAP, so there is a character count that we didn't detect in SMAP, or that SMAP has an extra character that wasn't in PMAP. But for them to be anagrams, they have to have the exact same character count or character count for every single character in the alphabet. Okay, so at this point, if this anagram is true, then we have found an answer. So let's store our answer somehow. We'll have a list, and we'll just store it in a regular array list. Uh, answer dot add zero. So remember here we're adding the first index of or the first index of the anagram. So since we're comparing at the beginning, this will be zero. So this is the zero. Okay, so now is the slightly harder part. Now we have to start shifting our S to detect new anagrams, right? Because our S is going to be something like A, B, B, C, you know, maybe something like B, B, A, C, D, but our P is going to just be B, A, B, C. And so far we have read the first four and detected that they are indeed anagrams, but we still have to detect if there's any other anagrams inside this string. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to just read one and then also delete one. So we kind of shift our, our uh, S map by one, and then we can just check against P every single time. Okay, so let's try that. So again, we'll have int i is equal to, so we were, we've already read the first four, so we can read the next one. So this will be the same thing as PL. So that after, so if uh, PL has a length of four, then we can start reading at the fourth index for our next character. Uh, I less than SL, so the rest of the string, I plus plus. And then what we want to do is we want to increment the count here, but also decrement the count for the character that's no longer in our window. So here we will have S map at uh, S dot char at I minus A plus plus but also s map at s dot char at, and now we have to subtract this one right here. So here is the one that we want to subtract, and here is where our i is at right now. And then what we want to do is basically we want to do i minus pl. So uh, index four minus the length of p, which is also four, will give us uh, index zero. And this is the count that we want to decrement because we are no longer reading it. Okay, and then same as before, we can have is anagram equal to false or equal to true to start off with. So, and then we wanna see if they don't agree on anything again. So here we'll have this check again. And then if is anagram, we want to add uh, the first index. So the first index is going to be whatever this, whatever we just deleted, plus one is our first index. So it's going to be i minus pl plus one here. And at the very end, we can return answer. Okay, let's give this a go. Um, oh, right, so here we already used i, so we'll use j here instead. j, uh, j, and j. Um, array out of bounds. Ooh. Let's see. Oh, right. So here we also have to minus a for the offset. Okay, looks like this is good. And let's go over the runtime. So in here, we have um, we loop over PL. So here we already have O of P. Um, here we loop over PL again. So here we have another O of P. Um, here we loop over the character count. So there's 26 characters in the alphabet. So there's 26 characters, and that's something that gi they give us um, as a constant because they give us in the question there's lowercase English letters only. So really, we can treat this loop as O of 1 because it does not scale with our input uh, P or S. Okay, and then in here we loop over the rest of S. So we can call this O of S. O of S here. And then again, this is really just O of 1 because we know exactly that there's 26 characters and that's a constant. So that means at the very end, 
what we have is um, O of P plus O of P plus O of S. So really we just have O of P plus S for the end. And then because S has to be bigger than P at this point because of our first check here, we can simplify this even more to just O of S. And then uh, a quick thing, if you're wondering why I would use the short, that's because I used the other constraint here that they will not be larger than 20,000. So that means at most we will increment a single character count. So let's say we have the letter character, uh, the word A, 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 A. We will only increment A 20,000 times. And you can see here, short can hold up to 30,000 numbers and int is way too big for, for our need. So this is 16-bit versus 32-bit, so why not save the memory while we can? And um, I guess for the last one, we have some sort of duplication here. So if you're writing this for an interview, I'd probably just rewrite this as uh, if is anagram, and you pass it pmap and smap, and you can do uh, answer.add zero. So that would look something like uh, private static boolean is anagram. We would take in a short pmap here and a short smap. And then you can just uh, return false here. Otherwise, if everything is the same, can return true. So you can also do that and then make this cleaner. So here it will be uh, if is anagram of pmap and smap. Uh, answer.add that. Cool. Okay, so that's it for today, and I'll see you on the next one.